So when it comes down to like supplemental magnesium, can you kind of break down like the different, the different types of magnesium? And then also kind of, we can talk about the different routes of administration. Like you're talking about topical versus, you know, versus ingesting something. So yeah. What are the, what are the different forms of magnesium and, and what can you say about kind of their availability and how well they're absorbed? So that is, I think that right there is the golden ticket, the golden question. This is why I think most people start delving to magnesium. They get overwhelmed and then they're like, eh, forget about it. I, I don't want to do this. And the reason being is because there are lots of different types of magnesium and they each have their own superpower. Let's just say superpower. Um, so when people come to me and say, hey, what's the best kind of magnesium to take? I, I can't tell you because I can't tell you what your body wants more of. So what's good for a 22 year old female is not gonna be the same thing as good for an 80 year old male. So there is a bit of trial and error when it comes to figuring out which magnesium your body does best with because we all have our own unique biochemistry. But I will summarize just in general, the different types out there and you can kind of play with each of them, see which one resonates with your body most uh, easiest and best and kind of go from there. The beautiful thing about magnesium is it's actually rather um, cost-effective mineral. When we look at all the supplements on the market, magnesium is, is really, really um, not very expensive. So you can try a few of them before you land on the one that really works well for you. So just to kind of summarize, um, magnesium citrate is the one that you're going to see on the market most of the time. Citrate is often, um, there's a really popular brand called Calm, and it's a powder and you mix it with your water. And that one, I see it like in every health food store. Um, citrate, has its pros and cons. A lot of people like it for um, anxiety and anxious feelings. The only problem is that citrate can be really hard on your stomach and it can produce a bit of a laxative effect if you take too much all at once. So if you do have any gut issues, leaky gut, difficulty absorbing minerals, IBS or anything like that, you may want to steer clear of citrate. The other one that's really becoming popular nowadays is glycinate. Magnesium glycinate has a really great, absorb, uh, it's really high and absorbable, high, high, high absorbability. Um, it is really gentle on you as well. Glycinate works particularly well for people who have insomnia. So if you have a really hard time sleeping, glycinate should be taken in the evenings or at nighttime to kind of induce that sleepiness, help you fall asleep and stay asleep. Magnesium malate is the complete opposite, however. So if you have a hard time staying awake and if you have a hard time with energy and, and you're really fatigued and tired, malate will be your best friend. Um, it's one of my favorite types of magnesium. I usually take it around 11 or 12 o'clock during the day because that's when I start to kind of get tired and come off that, that energy rush from the morning. So it's wonderful for boosting your energy levels. It's also really effective for muscle pain and soreness as well. So if you deal with any kind of... Um, painful conditions like arthritis or fibromyalgia, people like that tend to do better with malate. Another one that's um, really kind of gaining in popularity is magnesium threonate. And threonate is, it, it is one of the more expensive types of magnesium. People with um, mental health issues tend to do really well on this. There are some studies that show that it does pass the, the blood brain barrier. So, you know, that's, that's really used in advertising a lot. I haven't seen enough research to really, really back that up. Um, so I would definitely take that with a grain of salt, but people who deal with a lot of um, nerves or memory um, issues or mental fog, that kind of thing, they tend to do better with that one. Um, the other ones that you're going to see on the market are magnesium oxide. That is a really cheap and ineffective form of getting magnesium only about 4% of oxide actually gets absorbed into your cells. The rest of it's gonna go through your digestive system and out the other end, which is why a lot of people use that as a laxative. Um, so I don't recommend using that to get your magnesium levels up at all. And then the last one is carbonate. Magnesium carbonate also does not absorb well into your body and it's often used as an antacid, not so much for getting your magnesium levels up. So that's just kind of like a, a summary of all the different types of oral magnesium you can take. Um, the other two are magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt. And Epsom salt's amazing. Um, it's like, you can get it for a dollar at the store, super cheap. I recommend people soak in an Epsom salt bath two to three times a week, if possible, to really, really get your magnesium levels up. I, um, my magical magnesium 
um, recipe is two cups of Epsom salt and one cup of baking soda, and you soak in the tub for about 20 minutes. Now I recognize not everybody can soak for 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, not everybody has that kind of lifestyle. So um, another alternative is to soak your feet in that same mixture. Um, and that can be done, you know, while you're working or if you're reading or sitting in front of the TV, it's a great way to get more magnesium into your system. And then the last one is magnesium chloride. That's hands down my favorite type of magnesium. Magnesium chloride is used on your skin and it absorbs really, really quickly. There's actually some really awesome studies out there that show that using magnesium chloride on your skin can help raise your levels in about 12 weeks versus taking an oral pill or an oral supplement, which can take anywhere from six to nine months. So we're seeing it's way, way, way faster absorbed. You don't, it doesn't cause digestive or stomach upset because you don't have to take a pill um, and it works really, really quickly. Wasting my time. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you?